Oh, um, yeah. So I have ch I have custody of my children. It's not a matter of getting them back legally. Um, it's a matter of my every time I move, I'm followed. I'm sorry, you guys. So someone in the comments said that they had advice about my kids, and I just want to update you guys. So I I have legal custody of my children. Um, I am going through some court issues with the baby with her father not answering the phone and just being um, a dick. But again, I don't think it's him. It feels like there's some pressure. Like, I don't know if he has a new girlfriend or what really it is. Um, but I've never kept any of my children from their fathers their whole entire lives. And I had primary custody from the moment my children were born out of my vagina to the, to the time, to two years ago, about 20 months ago. Um, they always lived with me. Primarily, I did 90% of the work over their fathers and the rest, the other 10%, their fathers, um, mom and dad helped me out with. So that's not to say my exes were deadbeats. They weren't at all. They were just always working. They would like be the type of father that's like, hey, want to go to the park? You know, let's, hey, you want to hang out for a half hour? Like they were young men, like dumb, like not, not dumb, but like just not like I'm a mom and I'm different. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. The point is. Um, the kids were going to come back. Like I'm a mom and I'm different. It's just, I don't know how to explain it. The point is, um, the kids were going to come back here, you know, when I got here, but, um, given that the apartment and studio space has been broken into and my money has literally been robbed from me three or four times at least, um, that's not including the vacuum bandit. I know you guys remember that guy. Um, or any of the clothing that was stolen out of my closet. I literally had to, I have this huge walk-in closet that I literally had to move my clothes out of and put them all here in a laundry basket next to my bed so that no one can like walk in there and steal them. It's fucked up. I barely have any clothes to, to begin with left from all of this shit. Um, I don't know who continues to steal from me, but it doesn't feel safe to have my kids here, which is like the biggest heartbreaker ever. Um, cause when I, when I moved in here, I was like 99.9% .9 sure that, um, they were going to be here too. So it's just been hard. You know, I had a car, I moved back in, I paid off my car, Cadillac CTS all by myself. It was like the first like big purchase that I ever made and to not have that, to make the final payment and then have them take it was heartbreaking. I didn't have an easy life. You know, a lot of people think that like I just had everything handed to me. I had nothing handed to me at all. Everything that I have, I worked my ass off for, had that I worked my ass off for. And um, so moving in here and choosing this space because it's directly like the halfway point between where my kids live. Um, it just hurt. It, it's like soul shattering. Like it makes you like lose your desire to, or, or willingness to, um, be patient and do the right thing, you know, like, my, my mind starts working, like thinking of all these crazy, like I've never thought about like doing something crazy for money. You know, like the craziest is like taking a date for $500 or $300 an hour, like that I've ever thought. And, and the things that you, that you think of when you're just sitting by yourself, like with nothing and no one to ask for help. It's, it's scary. It scares me. Um, so I haven't done anything like, you know, I'm, I'm a pussy, I'm a coward. I, I'm always like, all right, like this is going to be my biggest heist yet. And then like, I go in the store and steal eggs. <laughs> like it's fucking crazy. I can't, I'm scared. I don't get in trouble and I don't do stuff like that. I've been taught my whole life that you don't do that. So being like with my back against the wall to either like starve or do that. It's just been hard. Um, and then when I'm already in a position to have my space broken into uh, additionally and things stolen from me, it's just like, what the fuck? You know, like, what the fuck? 
uh, and you guys that can see the FTR section, um, there's been no, no police follow-up, no police assistance thus far, no assistance from the system. I've gone and filed multiple in-person petitions with the courthouses. No one has done anything, um, you know, at all. So just, uh, <laughs> trying to stay positive and motivated. Like I said, I didn't come home yesterday with a job or like a big change to my situation, you know, that I know of, but I did come home last night, like feeling like at the very least I did everything in my control, um, to look for opportunity, put my name out there. And, um, you know, that's all that, that's all that we can do. You guys, when, when things are not exactly as you'd like them to be, um, you know, sitting around and crying about them. I'm not saying don't cry. Like it's going to come out if it needs to, but then you have to dry your tears and like make a move. And I've been doing my content stuff. I've been in the gym. I've been on it with my diet and my summer gains. Um, you know, I've been always in contact with my children, except the baby. I haven't been able to reach her for a few days, which is really troublesome. Um, she's eight, my baby, the youngest. My oldest is 15 and the middle one is 13. So I did talk to the two older kids and they're good. The oldest is going to work today. Um, I just, I wish that I had a safe space to bring them and a car to pick them up. Um, and I wish that it was mine, you know, the one that I worked for, the one that I bought, the one that I picked. Um, 